My next guest is a good friend of this show, and he's one of the nicest RVers that you are ever going to meet. He's also an incredible musician, uh, songwriter, performer. He is the voice of the RV Show USA radio show and will be performing at a private concert at our campground in Texas at Big Chief over Columbus Day weekend. Roger Hurricane Wilson, welcome back to the show. Glad to be back with you, buddy. How are things over there in Georgia? Is it cooling off any or is it still kind of warm? Yeah, the, the evenings have been wonderful. Uh, I've been nice and cool. Uh, right now it's uh, 76 degrees and... Uh, I've been sleeping with the uh, upstairs door open, which is uh, just lets the, the cool air in. And then during the day, it's been it's not it's been in the eighties. I'm supposed to go back really hot this weekend, but um, yeah, it's not bad right now. Yeah, well, fall weather's right around the corner. Now, for you folks who are listening to the live stream, we're going to do something fun. If you would like to attend our upcoming private concert at Big Chief in Texas, we're going to be giving away a free RV site. If you'd like to bring a small group with you over Columbus Day weekend. We're going to give away one one RV site and one group pass to the concert every week over the next oh two or three weeks. If you'd like to attend and you'll be in Texas over Columbus Day weekend, October 9th through the 11th, uh, call and leave a voicemail of why you think you deserve to win. Uh, be creative. Leave your voicemail at uh, 210-965-4997. Again, 210-965-4997. And uh, let us know why you think you deserve to win the ticket. So uh, it looks like you have been one busy musician lately there in your house, and you hadn't even left your home studio, Roger. <laughs> well, I, no, there's more going on. I'm, uh, I've really been pushing the YouTube channel big time. Uh, I'm putting out, um, premiering like three videos a week, usually on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'm trying to put videos together on the YouTube channel, which is Roger Wilson Guitar on YouTube. But then also just trying to write songs and put put tracks together and, if something, you know, if a thought crosses the mind, I just kind of maybe write it down and, and run with it. We'll see. You must be on fire. I mean, in terms of writing songs, your creativity is just ginning because you've been writing all these great songs. But you, before we play this song, because it's it's, it's beautiful, I love it, it's funny, and uh, it'll get stuck in your head, folks. But you're an actual RVer. Let folks know a little bit about you, Roger, so, so they can relate because I know you've RVed more than most of us ever will. Well, I started RVing in 1998. My wife Jolie um, got me into she got me into a Winnebago Brave 31 foot. Like I, I was telling you a few weeks ago, or whenever I was on, I started from the other end. Like most folks start out on a tent and a little pop up, and then they move up to a big Class A. I, I went from a Class A and, and back down to a couple of pull, pull behinds and started playing uh, RV parks across the country. I was playing for a I played probably about 50,000 trails parks, and in between the uh, the regular gigs with with my band and uh, solo gigs, it it really just kind of worked out. It was something. It was a whole different audience than I would normally be playing because I was playing uh, bars and joints and festivals and everything for years. And this was a whole different niche um, of people that I was able to get in front of and on a more intimate basis because I was able to go to the parks and hang for a couple of days and you know maybe write or, or goof. You know, I'm, I'm big about goofing off. So that, that helps out, too, a lot. <laughs> well, and I know that a lot of your RVing experiences must have gone into you writing your new song. Set, do the setup, and then we're going to play the entire song, folks. You're going to just love this and stick with us because we're going to tell you a little bit more afterwards. But uh, get, give us the backstory to this song and set it up for us, please. Well, basically everything in there that I talk about has happened to me. I mean, I've been, I was, you know, and like in the other RV song, for instance, I was driving down the road and I looked in the mirror and my air conditioner cover was going back down the highway. Um, you know, the muffler fell out one time out way in the middle of Texas out there near Nacogdoches, Texas, about, uh, about 10 years ago or so, um, even longer than that. And then a guy came out and put, put the class A on a flatbed and then drove it back to the shop. And I had a tail and I was in a pickup truck that I had been, was towing. And for instance, I, I I told him I said I'd never seen my motorhome go that fast because he was going about ninety miles an hour and I couldn't keep up with him to take him back <laughs> to the shop. And and just you know just adventures, uh, things like that 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 happen. And it's I'm I'm, I'm pretty well prepared with the uh, tie wraps and the duct tape and the bungee straps. I'm I'm, I'm all there. You know? so, <laughs> and, and so <laughs> the, the the name of this new song you wrote and and tell us about the the name of the song and then Shemaya is going to play it. Well, it's called Congratulations, you know, now you own an RV. And I remember the one verse in there about taking out the gas pump. I did that, and then when I got back to the insurance agent and the, the dealer, you know, after I hit the gas pump and took it out, 
uh, with the back of the RV, they said, well, welcome to the club. So that's, you know, that's one of the lines I, I ran. This is all my stuff that I ran in there. <laughs> I don't write that many songs. I mean, a guy like Neil Young writes like three songs a day. I write one, you know, a couple of times a month if I can. Well, you've done really good, and this is a good one. Folks, if you're an RVer, listen to this song from, from Giddy Up to Woe. Roger's going to stay with us, but this is Roger Hurricane Wilson, and congratulations, you own an RV. Roger Hurricane Wilson, folks. And Roger, when you told me, I think it was, I don't know, 1030 at night in San Antonio. So it was all, all approaching midnight there in Georgia. And you called me up and you said, I got a new song. And I said, tell me about it. No, no, I can't tell you about it. I just got a, I got a new song and you're going to like it. I, and I love it. I just think it's so catchy. Well, I appreciate that. I had, I had fun writing it and, uh, I was digging back into the memory banks, even when I kind of, you know, I, I was trying to keep the mood light. You know, I didn't want to make it like, you know, too dark. I mean, I wanted to start out nice, but, you know, let people know that, you know, you got to think about stuff. And and, and that's kind of what the way I, I ran with it. How can people download that, that great little tune? Uh, there's a, a link that just went up today on my website at HurricaneWilson.com. You go to HurricaneWilson.com, and uh, there's a tab for buy music. And the little drop-down thing comes out and buy CD singles. It's, it's all in there. Uh, so it's really easy to find hurricanewilson.com. All right. Hurricane and then Wilson. Just click on the, on the buy music tab. Are you going to be able to play that when you come to big chief next month? Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm, I'm go, I've got to go through a couple of other songs, uh, that I recorded. What I need to do is mix down the, uh, the tracks without vocals. Cause I'm not going to be able to bring the whole thing in there. It's not going to sound like that unless I play with a track and then play part of it. But, um, but, even if I play it acoustically, I'll I'll do the song one way or another. 
what what surprises me, I mean, besides your writing skills and all that, it's a catchy tune, but you put together, you produced the whole thing, every instrument, every sound, every single thing was Roger Hurricane Wilson. I think that that is impressive, but I, I mean, I, I'm just saying you are too humble of a man. I think you're, you are really, really talented. Well, I mean, I, I've been playing all, all these guitars that are behind me there. I mean, I, I, all the guitar parts are all me, and then everything else, I'm playing all the parts off of my guitar by way of MIDI, and uh, it's it's crazy. But um, and there's stuff that's airing all over the world on radio stations, and uh, you know you really can't tell the difference. So it's uh, but it's it's a lot of fun, and that's my secret. Don't tell anybody, but it's just kind of how I do things lately, and that's how a lot of musicians are doing things. I and mean, stuff you're hearing out there, uh, it's it's coming out of the studio, you know, and the technology is growing every single day. And I'm even behind on a couple of uh. Update. I'm afraid to update some of this gear because I'm afraid I'm going to lose something. So I just kind of stay back in the, in, you know, in, in the older stuff, which, is, and when I say older stuff, we're talking about just a, a few years old because it's, it's changing and evolving every day. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you, you've been playing music for, for decades, for, for most of your life, and you still, it's obvious that you love it. It's, it's a labor of love. You enjoy it. And, and that, that makes me happy to see somebody that's doing it because they want to do it, not because they have to do it. Well, I started taking guitar lessons as a kid at nine years old, and I took I took uh, about four years of guitar lessons as a kid. I had a stack of books knee high. I could read. I could. I won little trophies and stuff and uh, these little things. But man, I, I I went to I went away to school. I was I was of course I was from Jersey originally. Uh, my mom was from Atlanta, and then I I went away to school, and then I started hanging out, listening to bands, and I you know walked into an Allman Brothers concert one night and stood about eight feet from Dwayne Allman, and here I am. I, w- I was ruined for life after I left the building that night. So it was just a whole different thing, and I just loved music, and uh, it, it came kind of natural to me. I'm, no, I'm by no means surprised you. There's guys out there that will, you know, they, they can blow me out of the water, and there's, and I'm, my singing is something that came a little later. I just had to do that out of frustration, and I think I've gotten better at it. But it's just a matter of uh, trying to put music out there that people care about. And I think if you're for real and you just try to be yourself, I, I, I can't be anything I'm not. Um, so that you know, there's that. You know, last year when you came to Big Chief, I, I, I got to tell you, people were like, who is this dude? You know, who is this guy? And I said, just, just come and listen. 100% of them at the end, they're like, holy cow, that guy's good. And it was fun. It was small and intimate. And, and I am so honored that we are the only venue that you are playing in 2020. Well, yeah, um, but it, I'll tell you, it's not, like I said, I I think I've gotten more accomplished by not being on the road. And I mean, I've done my million miles. I mean, I've played, I'm, I mean, I'm wearing a T-shirt here of a blues festival I played in Ireland 20 years ago. Hmm. You know, I mean, I've done the million miles, and I've done a lot of the hotels and, and a lot of the stuff. And, it, there's a, and there's guys out there that are still doing it. Hopefully they are. And then uh, that have done it longer than I have, but it's just it. You have to develop those road chops. The the road chops are something that that a musician really has to have before you can really do anything. You can play locally for a long time and playing, you know, like classic rock bands, and and it's fun. I mean, playing music is fun. It doesn't matter where you play it. You know, you can play. I mean, the blues started off, you know, in in Mississippi, sitting on the porch, and uh, so music is music, and people love music, and. All you got to do is play music you love, and that's what I've always tried to do. Yeah, it's music that RVers love, that's for sure. Listen, we're going to let you go. We're going to get you back on before the concert, and we're going to try to give away some uh, some group tickets to for people to join us, all right? We'll, we'll check in with you soon, all right, Roger? That sounds good. Thank you. All right.